Well, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm out in my corn. It looks like it's around V7 stage. And uh, for the last four weeks, we've been taking tissue tests on two parts of our corn field. And I'm going to take one today and show you how I do it. Driving through by the driveway, you can't tell uh, if your corn is deficient on anything. Um, you have to if you start seeing a deficiency it's already probably too late so you have to be taking some tissue tests to see uh, where your corn is and uh, get some ideas on uh, what you're deficient in and what you need to work on this part of the field is my uh, high yielding section of the field um, I'm standing in a spot where I go to every week and I have the flag set and I have it um, recorded in GPS so I know uh, where I'm at and this there's also a soil sample here um, this is low sevens on the pH and um, we've been building up potassium and phosphorus here um, my soil here is high cation exchange capacity so we're usually in the 30 to 40s and uh, we struggle with uh, calcium usually in the 85 to 90 percent range and um, I'm seeing my limiting factor a lot of times is magnesium here, believe it or not. So I've spent a lot of uh, time getting potassium and phosphorus correct. And now I think magnesium is going to be the next thing. Looking at the leaves, um, you can look up pictures all day long. I don't think you can figure out what that problem is. Right now, I'm guessing it's magnesium and maybe um, sulfur right now. We've had, uh, this is day 17 with no rain, so they're obviously working hard to get nutrition into the plant, and there's not much moisture to, to work with. So that's a good uh, good guide to see how your nutrition is working. If it's, if it's not working on the dry days, then you're always going to be losing some yield. This is last week's result, so you can hit pause and look at that. Um, a week ago we were lower, getting low on sulfur, getting low on phosphorus, and uh, magnesium was getting low. Uh, but you can't see that from here. So I'm going to take a sample. What I do is I go to the last uh, collar leaf, and I'm going to go and take about 16 from this part of the field. We'll go to the next part of the field in a second. My lower uh, yielding part of the field. This uh, area is... Uh, high pH 8.2 when I took it on it had a, a real low test levels on everything we were in like the 1% range for potassium and um, 4 parts per million for phosphorus and over here with this soil being high pH it has high calcium so it's about 92% calcium so it's always struggled to get over 100 bushels 110 bushels somewhere in there um, also, it slopes, so being in no-till I think is a good thing for it, uh, so it can hold my nutrition in place a little better. Anyways, at each uh, field I take a canopy picture and that canapeo app. Um, this week the high yielding area was showing 62% and this area is showing 52% canopy coverage. So we're starting to see a difference in uh, the plant growth right now. Um, the other thing is this area I've backed off on the on the um, yield target and I backed off on the plant population so part of the canopy difference could be we have a lower plant population here this is uh, 25,000 over here versus 30,000 in my high, high yielding area and again, I think looking at these fields, you can't really see the deficiency. You are seeing plant height differences, and um, probably can't figure out why. But uh, I'm going to take the tissue test, and maybe this week we'll start seeing more differences between the two fields. Um, again, it's 17 days since we've had rain. We're going to expect some rain this week to correct that, but a lot of times... We can go 30 days without rain, so I need to build the nutrition levels up so these guys are growing whether we have a lot of moisture or whether we have a little moisture. Um, so we're not going to go by PPM in our fields, we're going to go by 
tissue testing and um, see how the plants are responding under real growing conditions down here and then that's going to guide our fertility. I will say since I've started doing the tissue tests I've been backing off on nitrogen quite a bit uh, going probably 30 percent less nitrogen now because that was always showing up as uh, high and why bother having high nitrogen when the rest of your nutrition is low so I've been able to put more into my other nutrients. So here's the last week's values. Um, the concern last week was sulfur, phosphorus, um, I'm sorry this is the high value but again this had the same concerns as the high. Um, the potassium on this field was 2.6 versus 3.13. So some similar concerns and the magnesium uh, was low on both fields. Zinc I've been carrying really well. I went with a chelated zinc this year and we've been able to fix that so I don't have any issues right now. So I'm going to get 16 leaves and we'll put that in the bag.